All right, I'm gonna get this hook out before he comes in the boat. Fish. First cast on the red spinner bait. That was literally the first cast on this red spinner bait. And it's a little pike. What's going on guys, welcome back. It is Sunday, July 16th. I've been fishing for about 20 minutes. I've had four short strikes on an inline spinner. Just threw out this red spinner bait and first cast picked up a little pike. Picked him up in maybe six feet of water on the edge of a deep weed line. This is just a little guy, just a 24 inch fish, but I don't know if it was just by chance that he hit it first cast or they don't want the big inlines today, but I've been throwing that for about 20 minutes and this guy's hooked pretty good. I'll have to get this one off. That's never good. That's just asking for a pole to end up in the water. All right, first guy of the day, little pike. So it's about 85 degrees today. Humidity is pretty high, it's pretty sticky. About a five to 10 mile an hour wind. Pretty much blue skies. There is some clouds off in the distance, but none where I am right now. What I'm focusing on is I'm hitting the shadier shorelines that are protected from the sun. So right now I'm, um, I'm casting in full shade. It's almost six o'clock. So another hour or so the sun should be down pretty good. So I'm almost thinking I'm gonna throw the spinner bait for a couple minutes, because that fish hit on the first cast with the spinner bait. So we'll throw this for a little while, see if we can get some more fish. A little smallmouth off the big end line spinner. One thing I love about smallmouth is them things will hit just about anything. This is just a little tiny smallmouth and he hit my big pike's in line there. Just a little baby smallmouth hit that big lure. These little smallmouth, they don't care. They will hit absolutely anything. Anything you throw at them things, them things will hit it. So that's the first fish I've got in about 20 minutes since that little pike. It's been actually kind of a slow afternoon. Sun's up just blazing. I mean, it's still 85 degrees out, so I think most of the fish are hiding. I've tried throwing the Texas rig brush hog a few times, but I haven't even got a touch of that. I haven't even got a touch on that. I, uh, I've thrown that in some thick lily pads, some deeper weed lines, and for some reason they just don't seem to be interested in it. So we're gonna stick to the spinner bait and stick to the big end line and see if we can get some more fish. Fish. guy off the all tangled up chartreuse spinner beat off the chartreuse spinner beat how's it going Good, how not bad Something small. Eh, 
Yeah, it was just a baby, baby, baby bass. All the way. Yeah, it does. Mine's a full. Yeah, and then the only other thing I would need to know is what dash it is. Dash what? I'm pretty sure it's a dash five. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure yours has the whole grip. Yeah, it does. And, and on one side of the grip, there'd be a round pot stamped into the grip, and it says mono or whole mono grip or something like that. Yeah, it's a whole mono grip. Hey, can I call you back? I got a big fish on. Yeah. I'll call. Right. You, I'll, call right. I'll call you back. All right. So have a decent pike on. It's not a giant. This may be a 10 pound fish. It's at, it's at least an eight pound fish. It could be 10. I haven't got a real good look at it yet. Just enough glare where I can't see it. Getting it, just enough glare coming off the sun here. Pretty sure it's in the 10 pound range. Uh, yeah, I think that's a 10 pound fish. He's not hooked very good. He's probably going to pop off. This fish isn't hooked very good. Um, if this fish pops off, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to let him kind of burn some steam off. I'm going to get this rod out of the way and See if we can get him in the boat. It's hard to tell. This fish isn't very long, but he's pretty thick. It's a pretty thick fish. Man, get this paddle out of the way. I think, that, I think this is a 10 pound fish. All right. All get this hook out before he comes in the boat. Hopefully. pound fish that's easily in the 10 range nice fat healthy fish um, he had about three feet of water and some um, um, submerged weeds came up and hit that big end line I'll show you once I get him back in but it's an absolute beautiful fish not as big as that monster I caught but um, just a beautiful one so so we're gonna shut the camera off and do about a, a 10 second photo shoot then get this fish back in the water okay let's get this fish back in All right, I'm just gonna uh, give this fish some time and I'm sure it'll be taken off here any minute. There it goes. All right, not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. I'll show you what that fish came off of. 
came off that right there, inline spinner. It's about seven inches long, seven, eight inches long. That was a nice, healthy, just absolute, fully proportioned fish. You know, he weren't too skinny for as long as he was. Just a beautiful fish. We're gonna go searching for some other ones. Just a little guy. Just a little baby pike. Perfect. Perfect release. Just had a fish roll over here before I could even get my lure popped over. Fish roll on it. Didn't actually hit it, but it's definitely interested in it. So this fish absolutely acted like a giant. This thing flew right on the surface of the water to get this, this big inline. Then he came right towards me. monster fish but he absolutely hit like he was and this is only a 24 inch fish maybe 26 but he absolutely inhaled this is way 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 down there I got super lucky this was all the way down here he absolutely inhaled that thing I was able to get that with minimal damage of the fish it was looking like he was gonna have a rough one but I got pretty lucky there I should say the fish was pretty lucky. All right, folks, that's all for the evening. Didn't pick up a lot of fish, but picked up a nice one. I was in the 10 pound range, by far the biggest actually in the boat so far. Um, certainly weren't the biggest I've hooked, but biggest one in the boat so far. Um, this place I've been fishing, I'm thinking I'm kind of on the tail end of it. There's a lot of algae in here. A lot of the coves I normally pick fish up in, I'm not picking fish up in them anymore just because there's so much algae. Something I got maybe another week or two in this place and I'll move on to different um, different bodies of water. But overall, not a bad evening. So we're going to wrap it up here and we'll see you guys on the next one.